Outdoors is brought to you in part by Badger Sportsman, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Wilderness North Lodge, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Lynch of McGuanago, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Wings Over Wisconsin, Kamik Law Firm, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Otter, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. You know what? You called me the other day and said, you know what? How about doing a night show out here up at Sturgeon Bay, out on these rocks and catching some of these shallow water walleyes? And I said, you know what? I would love to do it. I've been fishing the West Shore at night and getting some fish over there on the right nights, but it hasn't been near as consistent as your bite's been up here. Tell us what we're going to be doing tonight. Yeah, we're just going to be drifting over some humps. We've got a southeast wind going to be coming around south tonight at, you know, 5 to 10. Perfect. And we've been doing a little trolling. We've been doing really good, getting limits just about every day, trolling. And we've been doing some rip jigging with some plastics and ripping wraps. That's both been good. So, you know, I thought we'd try it at night, sunset into the evening, and uh, we'll give her a shot. Uh, we had some northeast wind earlier in the week. That kind of shut fishing down, that wind come around south, and yep. man, it's been money now, it's been good. It seems like up on the bay here, even over here on, on this side of the bay, when you get a lot of that northeast winds, a lot of people probably don't realize what happens is that you get that consistent northeast wind, it blows all that deep cold water in here and changes the water temperature drastically, and that shuts some fish down, because I fished the west shore, and that's exactly what happens there. Yeah, well, we were up on Monument Shoal last week and it water dropped 17 degrees. <laughs> 17 degrees? It was 75 and it dropped down to like 58. Holy cats. Yeah, that'll shut them fish down fast. They just disappeared. Yeah, well, that sounds good. We're not going to do any trolling tonight, though, right? No, all, it's all, all hands on fishing. Yeah, that sounds good. Do some slip bobbers with leeches that you suggest. Right, that sounds good. Hey, and we've got our special guest, your special lady. Hey, and I was just saying on the way out here, you spoil this lady like no tomorrow. I'm never bringing my wife along because I, you'd make me look bad. <laughs> well, you know, Barbara, uh, this is my fiance. We just got engaged. Congratulations. So, uh, thank you. And she runs the office, you know. She takes care of you. So when you call, she does all your booking. Yep. And uh, very friendly and polite. And she takes care of you, gets your hotels or, you know, tells you where we're fishing. She sets everything up. So, right. Uh, she does a great job. Awesome. Hey, Lonnie, Barbara, let's go catch some fish. Let's see who's going to have the hot hand. <laughs> The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see a picture of you having fun in the outdoors. And to have a chance to win a trip with us here on Larry Smith Outdoors and a hardened softwater fishing kit, all you have to do is submit that picture to the badgersportsman.com. Oh, here we go. I got the first one. I'll tell you, you know what? Let's see what we got here. Oh, decent fish. 
Yeah, there we go. Gotta like that. You know, that's the nice part about your guiding, Lonnie, is that, you know what? Coming out and doing these night trips, what a great way. Nice, perfect night. We got a light wind, nice and cool. If, you know, you're not getting baked up by the sun out there, and you're still catching plenty of fish. Hey, that was like my third cast. Come on, Barbara. You and I are having a contest tonight. Lonnie lost his lucky hat on the way out, so he might be down. I might be down, guys. All right, Dan. Hey, Barbara. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Boy, I tell you, Lonnie, you got this dialed right in. You know what? We decided to come out and do a night shoot tonight, and uh, just because it's nice and quiet and it's something different, you know. And so far, we've only been out here for about five minutes, and uh, we've already caught three fish. Hey, I'm kind of liking this. Yeah, what, what's going on, Larry? What do, got, what do you mean, what's going on? We're out here all it's by like, ourselves, and we're just dude. It's like them. every other cast for real. Oh, and you got uh, you got a crank on. And I've got the Kalins. Yeah, I put a, a black and gold ripping wrap. I was gonna put a glow on cord towards dark. I don't think I have to. Right now, at Holy least. What do you got no, there? I don't know what we have here. I didn't see it yet. Oh, oh nice big fish. Walleye. You gotta flip them. Oh, there we go. Nice walleye. Got him, Barbara, with the net. We don't even have a net in our boat because we don't have a net sponsor. Good job. Nice job, Lano. <laughs> nice deal. My God, Larry, are these things just rocking tonight? You know, I'll tell you, that's a nice part of both being out here, Ronnie. That. It's uh, a lot quieter out here, and you know what? You're not putting up with the heat. Boy, you've had so much heat no. this year. No bugs. Yeah, no, no bugs. bugs. Yep, been, nice, we, bright, light, light wind. We've been running these sunset in the evening trips, casting like this. It's just been insane. Oh, I just missed another one. What? Doesn't even count. No. Nope. What do you mean it doesn't count? It's a fish. You see it. We're too shallow. Oops. See? What do you mean it doesn't count? What do you got going here? He was like He's right under the phone. Oh, there you go. Nice. There's nice a nice walleye. walleye. Here we go. Ha. Good job. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable how many fish are stacked up and come in here. I, you know, I think Lonnie gets quiet out here Woo. and them fish just move Ooh, right into these moody. shallows to feed. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice little eater walleye. We'll toss him back, eh? Yeah, that nice fish. They're all fun. They're all fun. Boy, this is fast action, eh? <laughs> yeah. Boy, I tell you, I had so many bites on that, on that Kalen's jerk minnow. That's like the third one I've gone through already. Usually they last, you know, five, six fish, but they are just absolutely T-bone in, in the dark like this. So what you do is just thread that right on there. The nice part about these jigs that they have, too, is that they've got these keepers, plastic keepers on them, so it actually keeps that plastic from sliding down and tearing. So, got her on there. I got a little bit off-centered, which I don't mind. A lot of guys want it exactly straight on her, but what it happens is it kicks it off to the, to the right, and I kind of like that. It just looks more like a wounded, wounded minnow. You know, when I cast downwind and when I'm casting anything, I always close the bale by hand, otherwise you get a lot of wind knots in there. What happens, it loops, the line keeps twisting by, by closing the bale by turning the handle. So, and I always try to keep the line straight when I'm, when I'm coming up like that. And I mean by that is like wherever way the wind is going, and the wind is kind of angling now out of the southeast, so I'm, I'm kind of pulling my rod to the, to the southeast just like the wind is going too. And that'll keep you from getting all the loops in your line. What we're using here is a super braid, and then I've got uh, it's a ten, uh, it's a four ten super braid, and then what we have here is we're using a ten pound test fluorocarbon, and we'll show you later how we're splicing that line together. No swivel in there. You get right at the bolt, Larry. You did, yeah. Lonnie. This Holy un cats. Unbelievable, that fish, Larry. Enough. Just a little guy, but Just hey, we'll take him off. Oh, I just had one too. Boy. Barbara, you got one? No, I've got seven. Barbara, she's getting one every other half. Just a nice little guy, a little tall yeah. incher, but fun to catch, man. It's just, you know, every castle area, like you were saying earlier, you're getting a bite, a neck, yeah, a mess. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just crazy. Come on, Barbara. It's a walleye. It's a walleye. <laughs> Barbara. Come on, don't kid us. Oh, you got there. Oh. Hey, we got a double. We got them going now, boys. Uh, Lonnie, I'll tell you something. 
Why fish in the daytime? Sure, Barbara got a little one off. Why don't you take a picture of that one? Oh, Barbara hey. likes her cute little walleye. This is a big walleye. Look at the size of that fish. Look at that fish. Look at that fish, you guys. Look how big this fish is right here. Lonnie, that is a big walleye. Look at the size of that walleye. Boy, I'll tell you, Lonnie, this night fishing out here is absolutely awesome. And I'll tell you something. You know what? I got the old Kalens on. Woohoo, Lonnie! Look at that one there. Gotta love it, buddy. I'll tell you this. You know what? You said, hey, let's go out and do some night fishing. And both of you and I have both been fishing out here at night. But uh, boy, you really got this, this bite dialed in. And that is absolutely oh, that's that's gorgeous fish. walleye, Larry. Look at that Kalens in that mouth of that fish. <laughs> that jerk minnow absolutely gone. And look at that. That's, that is a beautiful fish right there. Gotta love that. That is absolutely, this one we'll definitely let go, Lonnie. Yeah, we'll let that one go. What is that, about 24? Yep, 24, 25 incher. Absolutely annihilated that. Got the old Kalen's dart jig on there too. And nice fish. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs. To our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job, too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Wings Over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch McGuanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all new state of the art Lynch McGuanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. What I'm doing now is that, I, now that it's dark, dark, I went with a glow jig and I got a little spinner on the back of it right here. But the big thing is the glow jig itself right there, straighten that plastic out a little bit. Yeah, that thing's really glowing. That looks absolutely perfect. You know, Lonnie, that's what I like about you. You know what? You know that when you pinpoint these fish, you definitely want to stay on them. Yeah, you know. We only got two fish on that run, and the uh, run before was really good, so we're going to go back and get back on that spot and uh, see what we can do. Right. You know, and the key, too, I'm sure you agree with this, when you're when you're coming back on these fish, you go around them and don't drive over the top of them, especially in the shallow, clear water like this. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, we want to go around and come back and drift through them, try to keep it undisturbed as possible. What's Barbara doing up there? Was she eating again? No, I like look at her. Look at her. Yeah. She's talking to her stars. She's talking to the stars. Oh, oh. Boom, he just smoked me. He did? Yeah. What do you got? I don't know. I think it's a little walleye here. Yeah, a little walleye. Oh. These things are just so oh. aggressive oh. tonight, Larry. They are. Just unbelievable. Every cast, it's like, or every other cast. You get a bump or a bag. Yeah, once you get on that pot, it just seemed like it was just crazy. I tell you what, you know, I went to that glow jig. I went, I went about a pass without catching a fish, and I think it just got a little too dark with that 
that without having that, ooh, that's a nicer fish, that glow on there. And then I went with that glow jig, they're nice fish. Woo! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy come here. I went with that glow jig on there, and boy, I tell you, that made a big difference right there. Because I went a pass with only a couple bumps, and then I just switched that over. And uh, as you can see, that jig I have on there, I just every once in a while hit it with my, my light and recharge it, and boop, back casting. Nice, gotta love it. Got the old jerk minnow on there. What do you got? Lonnie, got a oh, nut? Nice, nice, nice walleye. Nice walleye. You want to net him? Oh! Ooh, he's not hooked very good. Ooh, Ooh oh, nice, nice fish. Hey, what's that? Selmo! Selmo! Right? Yeah. Insist on Selmo. Selmo. Is that a glow in the dark flare? Uh, no, it's not, but it's got a lot of rattle in it. Nice job, Barbara. Good job. Nice very fish. nice job. Yep, insist on Selmo. Hey, I think we might be on something different. I'll tell you. That you vibration, know, eh? Yep, a lot of, that bait has got a lot of vibration. Nice job. Good, good job, Barbara. Nice eater, 16, 17 inch walleye. Yep, good fish right there. Congratulations. Good job, girl, you're so quiet. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get my cast as far as I can get it, and I'm winding at a pretty slow, steady retrieve and that I always pause it for just a split second about halfway to back like that and then jump on it. And a lot of times it's, it's, it seems like that's when the fish will grab it, when I just give it that slight pause. But again, at night like this, in the daytime, I would really, I'd be cranking it real heavy like this. I always keep the tip of the rod down unless I'm really shallow and I keep it forward so when I do grab it, I can just sweep back a little bit and clinch it down on them, but again, I'm using a super braid line on here. I've got a fluorocarbon leader. And I'm using uh, 410 on the super braid and 10 pound test fluorocarbon. I like P line. So it seems to be a pretty good fluorocarbon. It's very tough, abrasive. And you can usually always feel them walleyes will come up right before they really lay on it, they'll just tick it, and then all of a sudden, poop, the next thing you feel is that solid weight, and then I just sweep it a little bit, and game on. Here we go, got the Selmo. Ooh. Whoa, 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 a little feisty guy. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say, insist on Selmo. And I'll tell you, I just threw that one on, a little different color than Barbara was throwing. That one, I actually swung at it and I got him right in the eye. Gotta love that right there. Nice little eater. Keep her moving, yep. Went from uh, the jerk minnows, now cast and crankbaits, and definitely uh, a big difference for sure on that. A slow retrieve and pausing it about halfway in for a split second and cranking back on it, but just a nice slow retrieve, just getting that bait working back and forth, getting, oops, sorry, Mr. Wallet, getting them rattles going. Look what we got today. Me and the boy went fishing in a lake by the house here. Caught a couple of nice little planted brown trout. I got a couple rainbows. I am gonna cut the head off and take the bones out of it, butterfly it open, stove top stuffing, popcorn shrimp. I'm gonna pack the inside of it, put it in the oven. This recipe, I mean, I, my wife makes an awesome stuffing, but uh, there's nothing wrong with stove top. I love it and it's fast. The hardest part of this is, Deboning this trout. I'm going to start showing you guys how to do it. Chop the head off, get that out of the way. And when you start on the trout, you'll see right here where the main bones come up. So you got to start right here, work your way in, and then bring your knife back. Make sure your knife is sharp, otherwise, you're just defeating the purpose. And work right along the rib cage. See how they're coming right off like that? And work your way right to the backbone. You're still gonna have those little pin bones in there, but that's fine. 
You can get them out later. Main thing is get all the meat off the middle. You come back, I'll have this one all deboned, and I'll show you how to pack it and put it in the oven. All right, guys, I got it deboned. I leave the tail on just for a presentation. It looks cool. Make sure you season first of all. Throw a little salt and pepper inside of it. And then we're going to pack it full of my stuffing, popcorn, shrimp. I mean, it's up to you how much you want to put in there. You can see I already have two done already. You take and pack them in. Make sure there's shrimp in there because the shrimp adds a lot of flavor to it. Like I say, if you got your own recipe for stuffing, go ahead. But nothing beats stovetop. I've been eating it my whole life. I love it. Now I'm going to throw this in the oven for about 10 minutes. And... When you're another hint, when you're making the stuffing, people add a little water and butter because it's going to go in the oven. It's going to dry out a little bit. And also, I put it on aluminum foil because sometimes that trout will stick to the sheet pan and a lot of flavors in the skin. Put it in our top shelf. Let's close it up for about 10 minutes. See what we get. That's what it should look like. Your stuffing's got a little uh, like a crust to it. Looks good. See the bubbling going on? Let's go over to the table and put it on a plate and see how it tastes. Oh, look at that. Nice. I'll throw a little shrimp back in there. From Larry Smith Outdoors, stovetop shrimp stuffed trout to die for. The Badger Sportsman is the magazine for outdoors in Wisconsin. Not a subscriber? Now is the time. You won't want to miss a single issue. It's packed full of everything you need to know for open water success, no matter what species you're targeting. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today. I got this is a pretty decent fish. Yep, here we go. Yep, here we go. Yeah, he's not hooked very not hooked very well. <laughs> you know what's funny? We just look at that solo pop right off of there. It's a good fish right there. Got like, ooh, it's got a little scar on him there. A little musky scar. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Boy, this night fishing, Larry, that's something else, a whole different animal. It right? is, I'll tell you that. I see before up there uh, that uh, Barbara went down, you know, <laughs> and she saved the rod from going in the water. Yeah, Barbara that, fell backwards. That was I a... dumped two tackle boxes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Oh, that's you can do the fun of night fishing. But there's nobody else out here, Lonnie, no, except I for don't. you and I and Barbara and Dan Dan the caveman. Get up there, Barbara. Barbara! Oh, what do you got? I'm hey. glad that you've been such a trooper, Barbara, and staying out here with us. Oh, oh, there you go. That's a good fish. You will flip him in. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. All right, Barbara. You got to like that. That's a 19-incher. I'll tell you what, for keeping her out all night, Lonnie, you're going to have to definitely take her shopping. Shoes. Shoes. For shoes, Lonnie. 
He loves shoes. You're not saying nothing. Yeah, I don't know about shoes, but uh, <laughs> she likes going off for dinner. Oh, for dinner? What do you think of your walleye, Barbara? <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Barbara, you'd rather go for dinner than go shoe shopping? Yeah. Right? Yeah. What else do you, you like to do? Hey, if you went shoe shopping a lot, you know what I'd call you? What? You want to know? Shoe shine. <laughs> shoe shine. <laughs> I'd call you shoe shine. I'll tell you, Lonnie, we just pulled back on this spot right here. A little bit smaller one, still, you know, 15 and a half inch or probably. Lonnie, what are you doing way up there by her? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. He thinks he's going to get really lucky. Real, real. Keep real. Don't lose this one. <laughs> don't lose this one. <laughs> you going to net it for this time or not? Oh, that's a good uh, pitch. Nice wall. <laughs> it comes off here. Oh. Oh. Early hook, Larry. You are, you are hook. lucky, Lonnie. Hey, you also, you were telling me a little bit earlier, Lonnie, that you also have, whoops, whoops. <laughs> you also have some openings for this fall. I'm coming up with you, and we're going to be fishing Washington Island for big smallmouth. Tell we us are. about that, what you got going on yeah, up there. Yeah, we're going to be booking uh, October 1st through the 15th, and uh, we got a few openings left, and uh, we got you coming up, but we're going to be fishing smallmouth bass up there with live bait and suckers. It's just a really good bite. Dude. Are we talking big fish? Big fish, numbers of fish, uh, 25 to 50 fish a trip with upwards of 50, 100 fish a trip. So, and how uh, big are them fish up in Washington? I uh, you know, three to four monsters. pounders with a five to six in there. We're hoping for a seven, eight. We oh, love to see them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Lonnie, I'll tell you what, you know, just uh, we did something a little bit different. I haven't fished on this side this time of year at all at night, and I'll tell you, we caught a lot of fish, end up keeping a few to eat. We had one big one that absolutely engulfed that crankbait, and, and we had to end up keeping her just because she was bleeding, put her in the live well, she went belly back up, she wouldn't come back up, and uh, but we had a ball, and Barbara at the end, you really came on strong. Yeah. That was awesome, and good save on the rod before too, you know? <laughs> Hey, if people want to get a hold of you again, Lonnie, you're guiding full time. You cover this whole bay of Green Bay up here, and this is your cup of tea. Yeah, just give us a call at 920 255 2617. Barbara will take care of you. She does all the bookings, answers questions. I run the guide trips. Uh, walleyes are snapping right now. Bass are really cracking in Sturgeon Bay. So, uh, or check us out on the web at www.greenbaytrophyfishing.com. Hey, and just remember, it's a great night to be alive. <laughs> right. Is that a casualty of night fishing? Come on, I think I just had a night fishing casualty. <laughs> he says his OCD is kicking in. And my OCD's <laughs> kicking in because I'm a neat freak. Oh, he's oh. off! Oh. 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 Should have got the net. I told him to get the net. <laughs> Dang, I didn't get up here fast enough. Why is the seat so far back? <laughs>